Hello Capricorn, welcome to a love reading for Capricorn. Spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Capricorn? For Capricorn, please. In love. For Capricorn, please, Spirit. Show me clearly what messages you have for Capricorn when it comes to love. I'm going to be using um, the spread that I've been enjoying recently um, where I kind of look at past, present, future energies as well as what you think about each other. So let's jump right in. Past energies, we have the Two of Wands reversed. How you feel towards this person. Tower reversed. Knight of Swords reversed, okay. These are your energies as well with the energies you bring to this connection. Present energy, I have the Ten of Swords with the Lovers reversed. Well, if that's not clear, I don't know what is. I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm talking about, both the, you and this person are going through a separation or one of you um, is going through a separation or an ending in your life with a partner. Okay, what they're thinking or feeling. Well, there you are, Capricorn, Devil Reverse with the Nine of Cups. Okay. Very interesting energy. This is someone that's breaking free of a situation or an environment, an attachment that's not healthy in order to get some sort of emotional fulfillment. And then near, wow, we got the Knight of Pentacles in the near future, Knight, some sort of offer or opportunity in the near future here. Okay, so let's get some Romance Angels to get an idea of the energies here in this connection. Spirit, tell me more about this connection, please. For Capricorn. Tell me more, please. For Capricorn. Capricorn. What are the energies surrounding this connection? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This card for me as a reader is similar to the Six of Pentacles um, in the sense of like maybe someone feels like their feelings are not reciprocated or maybe the feelings are not mutual. Um, there's an imbalance here. And then I have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Something's happening quickly here. Something's happening soon. We'll get some more insight. What's at the bottom of the deck? Codependency. Okay, so this is that like unhealthy attachment. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I think more about like unhealthy attachments, unhealthy relationships that could be affecting this connection in some way. So let's clarify. Which deck do I want to use? I want to use this one. These mini decks are fun, but they're also hard to shuffle. So bear with me. Um, Capricorn, this is a general love reading. So as always, it cannot resonate with every single Capricorn out there. Um, if this is not resonate for you at all, that's okay. Check out my playlist for Capricorn. You can get to that playlist by clicking on my username and it'll take you to my homepage. Just check out the playlist tab to see um, all of the playlists I have for the different signs. And there might be a reading there that resonates more for you. Let me clarify these energies, please. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. Let's find out what's going on here. Let's start with the past energy, the Two of Wands reverse. Typically, this is someone that has chosen a path. So let's see. This could also be infidelity. So for me as a reader, it could be that someone wanted both paths at the same time. They don't want to choose. So let's clarify. Why is this Two of Wands reverse for Capricorn? Why is this Two of Wands reverse? King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Why is the Two of Wands reversed? Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I feel like there is some sort of offer here from a King of Pentacles, an opportunity, maybe a message here. 
regarding an opportunity. Can I get one more? For the two of pentacles, not two of pentacles, two of wands reverse, please. Spare why is the two of wands? The hermit. Virgo energy. Someone thinking very clearly about this opportunity. This is someone that is still planning. They haven't really, um, they've made a decision, but I, I don't feel like they've actually made any action towards it just yet. Um, this could be someone talking to you, asking you out on a date. This could be someone um, talking about making this turning this into a more serious opportunity or serious commitment with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is someone making an offer to you. And I feel like that offer would take you down a completely different path. For some of you, I'm picking up that this is a job offer that might uh, force you to make some sort of move. Uh, that's not for everyone, but I am picking that up. I feel like this is something where you really have to think about this job offer because um, it would cause you to, or require you to make a big change. Others of you, I feel like this is an offer coming in recently or some sort of opportunity you wanna take here. Okay, so what is this 10 of swords and the lovers reverse? Why is the 10 of, clearly this is a breakup or a commitment that is a, a partnership, a union that is broken, a cycle that has ended here. This could be un, uh, happening right now or have already happened. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Could have been a betrayal. Very difficult ending. Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? King of Swords reverse. Yes, very difficult ending. Someone could have deceived you or mistreated you. If this isn't you, this is your person, um, or this could be outside of your connection. For example, if your person is in a third party, this could be a situation they're going through. Take it as it resonates here. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Wow. Ten of Pentacles reversed with the Ten of Wands. This is definitely um, an ending. Not three tens here. A burden that has dropped here a commitment that has been broken yeah and then there's the lovers reversed again tell me more about the lovers reverse so if you're listening to this and you have not had a separation with someone or your person isn't going through a separation then uh, this might not be your reading why is the lovers reverse yeah this is someone that has is free of a commitment Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about the lovers. Reverse. Five of Pentacles. Reverse. I feel like someone uh, didn't want to struggle anymore or didn't want things to be so difficult and that's why they broke free of something. This could have been financial difficulty as well. There was a burden here with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this might have been a long-term commitment in marriage for some of you. And it was difficult. So let's see, what are you feeling towards each other? What are your energies here? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is one of my new decks and it's available now if you're curious. Link down below. Tell me more, Spirit, about the energies that Capricorn and this person are bringing to this connection. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy, please. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy. Now, Capricorn, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other. But feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Budding romance. New love, romance, and courtship. Lo uh, romance is in the air. Yeah, I feel like there's something new here, either something coming your way or something that has been developing. Can I get one more for Capricorn? 
Can I get one more for Capricorn, please? Tell me more about Capricorn's energy. Secret admirer, yes. Didn't you, ha haven't you guys been having readings recently where you have a secret admirer? Someone that maybe you're not aware of coming into your life? Some of you might recognize the secret admirer? Admirer? <laughs> coming in? Okay, tell me about Capricorn's person. Let me move these over. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection? Capricorn's person, please. Unexpected event. So this is like my tower card. So this person could be going through a tower or it could be causing a tower here. Interesting. A revelation, upheaval, endings, unexpected shocking events have shaken things up. So something has happened here. And that's why the tower is here on your end. I feel like this tower affected you in some way. Why is the tower reverse? I feel like there's someone that it has not been good to you or someone in your midst that you cannot trust. Why is the tower reverse? Wow, this has been a stressful tower. Um, there's anxiety, fear about this unexpected event. Tell me more about this tower reverse. There's worry here. Queen of Swords, this could be a, some sort of communication that comes in that is difficult. Um, there's clarity though, um, the Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands. Could be two people involved here queen of swords queen of wands um i'm also picking up it's almost like uh someone has clarity about what to do but there's fear um because it's probably going to require some sort of risk or perhaps someone is just too worried or anxious um to do something about this tower or to handle or deal with this tower tell me more about this tower reverse Ace of Pentacles reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse. Someone could be worried about money, finances. Um, maybe they're closing themselves off to a new opportunity here due to fear. Uh, this could be you because this is you for me, Capricorn. This is your energy. Of course, it can be flipped, but to keep things simple, this is you for me. This could also be you letting go of a commitment, a long-term commitment. And that might be difficult for you. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Knight of Pentacles, wow. Knight of Pentacles twice. So what I'm getting is that whatever uh, situation is coming in for you, it's very slow. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Can you tell me about this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the chariot reverse. Thank you, spirit. So this is something that is very slow. Um, this is an opportunity that's going to require, once again, the chariot reverse, a complete different uh, path. The chariot reverse can symbolize that the path you're on is not the correct one, or there are delays, stalls, uh, no movement, cancer energy. So I'm getting two different messages. One, it's very slow. The, the opportunity that you are waiting for, I feel, or the opportunity you're worried about, whatever situation here where you're gonna get some sort of offer, I feel like it's very slow, or it might require a change. And then I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom, so there's fear here. This could be somebody that's making you an offer and it's very slow in doing so. This could be a job offer that's very slow in developing here. This could be an opportunity that you need to grab that you are, because of fear, you're probably very slow in grabbing it so why is the devil reverse for your person why is the devil reverse the sun reverse okay so there was something hidden here 
something not clear in whatever unhealthy situation this was. Secrets, possibly. Why is the devil reverse? Nine of Wands reverse. Whatever situation someone got themselves in, they were very unhappy and worn out. Could have been trust issues here. Yeah, and conflict, drama. This was not a good situation that your person was in. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Nine of Cups here. Six of Pentacles. So someone here, their wish fulfillment has something to do with either giving or receiving something. Maybe receiving a wish. Seven of Wands, Reverse. Two of Swords. So this is requiring a difficult decision. Yep, yeah, Two of Wands, Reverse. For someone to get their wish granted, they have to make a difficult decision. What's this Two of Swords about? The Four Reverse. It's a reckless move or someone feels it's a reckless move. Perhaps they can't see where they're going or closed off here. Your person. Very interesting. I feel like they want to, you know, they're dealing with a situation that maybe they got into because they thought the grass was greener on the other side or that they would get their wish fulfillment there. Um, I feel like all they got was drama, secrets, lies. I feel like now they're stuck with the Two of Swords and the Full Reverse. It's like they can't break free even if they wanted to, or breaking free is going to require some sort of difficult situation or uh, decision being made. But I think this is what's necessary to rebalance the situation. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Strength Reverse, Leo Energy. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Emperor Reverse. Wow, yikes. Aries Energy. There's no... Um, this is someone that uh, does not have the power, has completely lost power or control of the situation. This is somebody that feels like they cannot get a situation back under control. Um, or they don't have the courage to get something done, to take the necessary action. How is your person thinking or feeling about you or the connection? I'm using my secret moon oracle decks for this. Spirit, tell me how this person is secretly thinking or feeling about Capricorn. Tell me if this is resonating down below Capricorn in the comments. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? This person that Capricorn is dealing with or will be dealing with. What are you thinking or feeling about Capricorn? You are my soulmate and I'm afraid. Interesting. I wasn't honest with you at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. They're afraid. Well, I know they're afraid because they're not making a decision. I feel like they're afraid of making a decision. They don't have the courage here. And they weren't honest with you about something. Obviously, it's going to be different for all of you. But I feel like that's why a tower happened or... Your person needs to cause a tower or cause a tower because of um, there was something that was not clear with the sun reverse or a secret of some sort. Um, I'm picking up, you know, it's almost like uh, this person might have been dishonest about their intentions. Maybe you wanted something out of the connection that they that they weren't able to. Maybe they 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 said one thing and did another regarding uh, meeting you halfway there because I have unrequited love. So I feel like there was something here where it's like you weren't getting what you deserved or things weren't balanced between you. And I feel like you're getting a chance at something new regarding love. And this is an opportunity that's taking a long time to get to you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? This is the near future. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Two of Wands reverse. Interesting. See, I feel like these are connected. In the near future, I feel like someone here, this decision from the past, I feel like it's connected to what's coming to you in the future. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? This is 
Knight of Pentacles about? Page of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Can I get one more, please? Four of Cups reverse. This is about opening yourself up to something new, something that maybe you were closed off about before. Um, I feel like with the page of, tell me about the page of cups reverse. Tell me about the page of cups reverse. Three of pentacles reverse. Interesting. Can I get one more for the page of cups reverse? The star. Okay. So what I'm getting is someone, I feel like this is an apology. I feel like this is someone that wants to heal the situation or wishes for something with you. Um, maybe this is a secret admirer. Um, for some of you, this person is at work or is in, within your friend circle. I feel like this person has known that you were in a commitment or in a relationship with someone because I think in their eyes, this was a, um, it's like they didn't have an opportunity with you up till now. For others of you, I feel like this is someone who, if they hurt you in the past, like let's say this is an ex or a current partner, um, I feel like they're trying to find a way in to make this offer to you. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, does not have to be. I also have Leo, Aries, I have Cancer, Virgo. I have a lot of Earth here and some air. With the three of pentacles reverse, I don't know, there's some sort of interference here. And it's like someone wants to, you know, heal that or have hope anyway. Like they still have hope, even though this might be a, a situation where uh, it's hopeless. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for your like, share, subscribes. I really appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to support the channel for free, hit the like button and subscribe. Leave me a comment if this resonated for you, and I'll hopefully see you in another video very soon. Take care.